Welcome back to the channel guys. This is iOS Beta 2 and this is the new iOS 26 Spatial Wallpaper. Now, there are a bunch of videos online that are showing you how you can create something like this using Good Luck Wonderland. But let me tell you something guys. Yes, you can create some kind of a motion, but I'm, I just want to let me show you, right? Let me just show you because it is not the same. This is now my S25 Ultra and I got the same picture. So basically, what is the process to do this in Wonderland, guys? It's very easy. What you need to do is just go inside your gallery, clip on that image, all right? And then what you can do, guys, from here, you can save it, edit it, or what you're going to do, we're just going to save it as a sticker, all right? The other thing that you can do, I did it already, is to click here on the AI button, all right? And then what you can do is just circle around, all right, and then hopefully the AI will do the magic. And now from here, guys, we can select this, right? We can erase this if we want, okay? And this is it. Now I'm just going to press generate, and this is going to create the same old paper but without the boy. So there are like multiple approaches. One of the approaches is like this. And again, you can create something similar, but it's not the same as the iPhone iOS spatial wallpaper, and you're going to know why. By the way, this thing here, yes, this is a true stunning, really spatial wallpaper where you can see that the front object is moving as well, right, together with the background. Now what you can do on Samsung is the background is fixed and then just the front object is moving, which is totally different from this thing here because you can see here that the object is locked in place and I have this kind of 3D feeling, right? Very immersive 3D movement, everything around the object and this is why it's spatial. Now, if you use the Samsung Meta that is, a lot of people are showing with Wonderland and etc., this is not going to look that nice, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. So, now what you can do from here in Wonderland, I can create a, a new wallpaper. So right now, what I can do, I'm going to press this one, okay? And then what I can do, I can try to stack on top something that I saved before. So I'm going to stack this, all right? And this is what people are showing you guys. And this thing will work to, to some extent, but it, it is not the same thing. Okay, let me um, show you why. So I'm going to put the boy here, all right? Make the boy bigger. Now, when you click on image setting, right? There's something called apply individual motion effect. And when you click the preview, guys, you see what is going to happen. Just the boy is going to move around, right? But this is just the boy. Everything on the background stays the same. And this is all right, you know, uh, it's not the same, guys. Uh, and in order for me to show this to you, I'm going to just set this as my wallpaper and I'm going to go directly on the lock screen. All right. And this is, it. by the way, it's stunning because it's Samsung and it's Android and it does work also on the always on. All right. So this is here, lock screen. And guys, this is always on. It's absolutely stunning. So now when I'm on the lock screen, see what happens here, guys. First things first, we have the depth effect, right? And you can also simulate this with using Lockstar. I'm going to show you how, by the way. But this is not the same, guys, okay? Let's not pretend it's the same because it's not. Because here, guys, the boy on the iOS 26 Beta 2 is just in one place. You can see it's not moving so much and everything behind is moving. And this is what makes this effect so cool. Here, you know, with this version, you know, the boy is moving. Yeah, so we have some kind of a motion, but the background is static. And, you know, unlike this, and I'm going to show you, this is just, you know, it's Android. You can do whatever you want with this. This is so much better because this is a bit more like the iOS thing. So what else you can do? With Wonderland, guys, if you want to edit this. So basically, you can also go here and you can try to put an emotion setting here. Uh, and then, you know, it's going to be a bit better because right now I'm going to have like a motion effect on this layer and then a motion effect on this layer. And maybe you can make it even more like drastic. Okay, so now everything is going to move on the picture. And that's probably a bit better, all right? Now, one option would be, uh, if you want to do so, let's say I want to just get more movement here, all right? So I'm going to have, have like a very strong movement on the background. Now, what happens when I decide to stop the movement here, okay? This is going to be a bit more like this, you know? This is now going to feel a bit more like the iOS version, all right? How do we know this? Let me just overwrite. And I'm going to try to set it as a wallpaper. I'm going to go and do this on the lock screen. And now, guys, you know, you, but you see, it's still not the same. Because, see, here I have the clock on iOS and I have the boy. And you can see, like, this is batshit crazy, but it's, it's really like a 3D live thing coming in front of you. The head of the boy is just there, right? 
see it's not moving around the clock. Now on the, the One UI 8 I'm running, I think the latest test firmware, everything is gonna move around. So yeah, you're gonna have some motion. Maybe this is even cooler, right? Because now I'm moving the two layers, right? I'm moving the boy around and I'm moving the background, but it is not the same. Okay, and because I told you, right, there are options where you can also simulate <laughs> the effect with the depth, because this is the other thing that really works stock. Now, if you do have a Lockstar, you can go inside. So now with Lockstar, I've just added the plain background and I added just a widget from Lockstar and then the boy on top as a sticker. And I mean, yeah, you can see like this depth effect kind of will work, but then you don't have motion. Uh, so guys, nothing of this is ideal, right? So honestly, what you can do, and this is just not advice, but if you really want to do uh, a nice parallax wallpaper, just open Android uh, Play Store and just put wallpaper parallax, and then you get a bunch of uh, applications. The one that I'm using right now with this very nice looking car, and you can see everything moves around. You know, the car that is the main object, this thing which they from, you see, and it goes behind the car, all right? And then also the background, Right, all of this comes from here. So my thing is, yeah, although there are options for you to use Good Lock and Lockstar and Wonderland, it's not gonna look that nice. Here guys, you can just have a preview. Those are absolutely insane, right? And yeah, it's a pre-vision, by the way, you need to watch a video before you're able to set up some, but it's budget crazy what you can do. So it's really, really good. And I'm gonna share some more examples in this video. Take a look at this. This is simply beautiful, guys. The only annoying thing is that you need to watch like two ads, uh, almost like 40 seconds each, which is really crazy. But okay, now I can set this. It's gonna be on my always on, it's gonna be on my lock screen, and it's gonna be also on my home screen. And guys, this is indeed a real, true parallax wallpaper, and not just some things moving around, because the main effect comes from the fact that the object needs to be somehow in the center, and everything around should move, but the object can also like slightly move, right? And you can see the head will stay on the clock, but it will give you this kind of a 3D effect, and you cannot quite achieve this with Good Luck and Wonderland and Lockstar. All right, guys, this has been it. A rather short video. Really hope that you enjoyed this one, and if that's the case, you can always check some of my other stuff. Stay safe, PSD over, and bye.